Now I'm trimming since I installed this shelf. It goes all the way down. I'm trimming the edges of the wood, sanding it down and finishing it off so it fits in the sides. Let's see how it works. Not quite. There's a little trim here. I'd rather cut longer than shorter. Is then I would have to do the whole piece over. After I sand, sand it down, I'll get it down even. I just want this piece to clear this piece. Ah, I see my problem. My problem is on this side.
forget to subscribe. I'll get right back. As a matter of fact, let me see how, how it does now. Falls flat. Just a little more. Yeah. Just a little more on this side. And I'll be back with you. Okay, I just cut a little bit more on this side. Let's see how it does. It goes up nice. It's sturdy. The metal holding up well. Went through the metal here. Now to close it. So my goal was to Make a kitchenette, stove, prep. After I clean all this, vacuum it out. I'm going to sand all this down, paint the edges, and finish it off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Here I go again, but this time I'm sanding. Close as well, even everything out, and then I'll paint it. Making the round edges like this on this side. Then I sand this and then I get ready to paint. Just a little touch up. Cover the sides. This is indoor outdoor use. Paint and primer all the one. And it's Carbon Fusion. I think this works better than um, the other brand.
closest one. Yeah. Uh, leave it like that. If the wind stops blowing, I'll be able to get this side. If the wind is blowing this way. As soon as this dry, I'll give it another clear coat and I'm done. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the other videos I post. Thanks for coming back and seeing my finished work with the uh, table I was doing. Don't forget to subscribe and like. This is what it looks like with the tables closed. I'm so impatient that I come out as soon as I wake up. You can see I have my heart PJs on. But it's, uh, I get excited when something is coming to an end. The biggest uh, issue with this has been the um, preparation work. The painting of the table, the cutting of the wood, that's easy to do. It's putting these brackets on. It's getting ready to start uh, to rain here in Texas. So I just want you to see with these open. My kitchen stuff is right there. I could lift this table up, work with one. Put this one. And then I have this one here on this side. If I want. Since the door is locked, I have enough room. This is my little pit area. I do my barbecue, my cooking, my preparation work. Put everything on, ready to eat. This is what you do when you're uh, going off grid. Do what you can for yourself. Figure out the problems, and uh, you get it done. A day at a time. Just uh, don't be like me and try to rush things. But I plan for my stupidity when I cut a board, I cut it longer than what it's supposed to be. And that's because the space that I have, uh, I have to adjust it. So it's easier for me to cut the board, round it off. I, you can see I painted the edges. The reason why I paint the edges is because if moisture gets in it, it swells up. So I paint it, I put a little bit of uh, compound, or silicone on the edges, then paint it so the wood does not swell up. Um, as you see, this is the artwork I wanted to keep with the same theme with uh, my van. These are planets that I did, and this is the other table. And the rest of the van is uh, her name, my van's name is Maria, but this is Cosmic Energy Van. Uh, everything is all planets. When I paint something, I put uh, names of my children here. I have a uh, my baby girl's name here, Jasmine, and on the other side I have uh, Jason. As I'll show you around. But it took time, it's still taking time. It's a work in progress, and that's the way life is, a work in progress. You do the best that you can. Here is uh, the other one. And I put my son's name, you can see it right here. His name is Jason. That's my boy. When you see me coming, you know it's me. I wanted to make sure I had uh, the front done, waterproof 
the back. I put cosmic energy here. I put my uh, recovery symbol here. And every place in the van you see a recovery part of it. But for now, I appreciate you guys looking. I'm going to post uh, another video very soon that I'm going to be rewiring these wires that are hanging from here. I'm going to make designated spots in here, drill a hole and put these in. The reason why I keep this here because it gives me the amperage that is pulling from the battery. I have one in the front and the one in the back. Just got to take all the electrical before I get ready to leave in May. So I'm excited. And uh, again, peace out.